Hey guys, it's uh, New Year's Eve. I'm back on this. I'm going to be uh, stripping some more of the firewall. The will be over. I want to tear the heater controls out and uh, a few other odds and ends. I've got to try and figure out how to get that in the uh, Studebaker back or not. Decide about that later. I should wrap it up, but it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so it's New Year's Eve, and I'm going to pick away at this for, I don't know, 20 minutes, two days. Um, I'm not sure what direction I'm going to take yet. I think I guess I'm going to strip the heater. There's a reinforcing bar across. I want to save it because it holds up part of the column and the brakes. So I'm going to see if I can save part of it and tie it into the Studebaker tab when I get there. Um, the chip cable is already out. It goes under the dash and then through the floor, like, under the seat. I don't know if it makes it any easier for me later. And then lots of things to figure out. Crusty fuel lines i got to fix. And uh, I haven't found a good source for them, so I'm not sure what to do about these rubber hoses yet. They don't look great. It'll probably need a fuel pump at some point, and then I'll deal with it. Um, I'm going to move you guys and switch you to time lapse and you can watch me rip this thing apart. I'm just sweating, tired already. Well, that's what happens when you run like crazy. So, as you see, we got a little jumble of wires. I remember where some of the connectors go, so that's not a problem. Um, dribbled out a little bit of coolant. I have pretty much got all the bolts out of the heater housing. Yeah, I do. And the heater hose is disconnected. So next will be splitting the housing and uh, see what else I got to learn about. I've never done this before. I've never ripped an S10 apart. So this is kind of all new to me. Actually, yeah, I, I really haven't done much like a complete strip down like this ever. So yeah. I better put that 916 away before I lose it. Okay, I'll uh, put you back up and maybe I'll go to regular mow now. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just rip that thing out and bring you back and show you. Again, it's New Year's Eve. This is what I'm doing. Uh, what time is it? It's like one o'clock in the afternoon, not at night. I'm not that crazy. Okay, uh, <laughs> besides, this will be posted up. You'll already know what time it was, so. Uh, okay, bring you back in a bit. Well, it's been a minute. Um, maybe three or four. So, yeah, I went ahead and did this without you guys. And for that, I sincerely apologize. So this S10 inside heater box stupid design this bottom one it wouldn't come off from the outside which I thought I had totally threaded it out 
that one spun off, but there's a bolt right in the middle that holds it. So I'm really not concerned. Oh, and I could have sworn I had to, yeah, see? It should have just come right up. It didn't. This one, right here, is inside the air conditioning box, which I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, okay, that explains why that nut won't come off. Okay, I'll clamp a vice grip on that and at least take that piece off gently. Bring you back. I got the uh, brake booster undone and it's free. I don't know what to do about my steering column. There's a boot on it. I don't see. Will it just slip apart? If I just yank on this, I don't feel a bolt. I really don't want to pull the bottom part of this off. Well, let me give it a pull. Feta! Okay, that can go in here. I think the bolt's in there already anyway. Well, that's a relief. Okay, let's go see if the cabinet bolt will come out. I got one out. Uh, I'm not going to bad chad you. Hold on, please. Bring you over show you what I did to get that bolt out. Boy, it's dusty slash smoky in here now. Um, had to give her the beans. Uh, my light has escaped again. In here, in there, and who's making the shadows? Me. Uh, there we go. You can see that weld. And there's one right there. And it went away in the shadow. Um, the plate started to turn, so I just ground it down a little bit with my carbide burr, poked some weld in there, and then on that sleeve or nut or whatever you want to call it, I'll slip right in nice and close. See? And, uh, I just give her the heat, pounded the heat to it, and then immediately zipped it out with the impact where it's slick. But my friends, I think we're about to have a firewallectomy. So uh, I'll put you up on the stand there and see if I can lift it off. 
I am going to section out that piece from the gas pedal beyond the brake. I think I need that. Okay. Uh, plugging away. Well, here we are. I have a casualty. That don't impress me much. Other than there's a splice right there that the, somebody did. And rather than taking it right to this old splice, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to keep going. I think I got some brake on it. Otherwise, I'm going to make a trip to town. And they're probably closed. Which means that's the end of that. Maybe I'll just fix it up as best as I can for now. Oh. Um, Yeah, fixed.